Whittier, what is going on? Welcome back to the My Whittier TV channel. Well, today uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Whittier's past, present, and future. We're going to say goodbye to an old friend. We got a quick little interview with a local business owner on the move. And we're going to talk some changes that are happening in the Uptown Whittier area. So uh, check out this video. I'm going to get with you at the end and we'll wrap things up. But uh, some good information here and a great little video. Check it out. Well, I wanted to get something on record to make sure that we had images of what Chris and Pitts look like before it is gone. I don't know how long it's going to take for that to happen, but just wanted to make sure we had something on the channel to uh, commemorate Chris and Pitts. Now, the year was 1940. Chris Polonis had a dream to open a restaurant and serve the best barbecue in the world on a wing and a prayer and a loan of $2,000 from his father, a Greek immigrant. He began his search for a good location. In a defunct dry cleaning shop on Tweedy Boulevard in Linwood, Chris and Pitt's Barbecue Restaurant was born. There was sawdust on the floor, wood benches, and the customers flocked in. Chris spent his days at the restaurant and his nights in his own kitchen experimenting with recipe after recipe until each one was perfect. Fast forward to today, Chris Polonis oversaw the Chris and Pitts restaurant chain up to his last days and now his kids and his grandkids carry on his legacy. Chris and Pitts is the home of the live wood fire and customers returning time and time again still say Chris and Pitts is the best barbecue in the world. And at one time, they had 15 locations. And uh, Chris and Pitts is going to be missed here in Whittier, California. So many memories, so many great experiences. And I, for one, am going to miss having this barbecue here in Whittier, California. We could still go to the other locations, I believe, in Downey. But um, we're going to definitely, definitely miss uh, Chris and Pitts here in Whittier. Thank you to the Polonis family. You had an amazing run, and I, for one, really appreciate you. Okay, now we're in the Uptown Whittier area, and uh, this is what it's looking like right now. The outdoor awnings are coming down. The street's starting to open up a bit here. The renovations for the new promenade will start soon. I'm not going to get too much into that right now. That's going to be saved for another video. But uh, this is what it's looking like. Des Velados is open and ready for business. We covered this a few months back before they opened, and now they're ready to go. So uh, they're on Greenleaf Avenue if anybody is interested. And uh, this area over here that's usually pretty dead here, this park area or this grassy knoll, I guess you could call it, is going to be used as a usable park very soon for the new promenade and the new renovation so that is going to be really nice because that is a large amount of space that could be utilized and i think they're going to finally go ahead and move forward to do something great there so i'm looking forward to that we are going to head over to madre's brunch and talk to the owner he has some news for us all right guys i'm here with mel from uh, madre's brunch and um, if you guys tuned into the podcast you know what's going on but if you don't this is for you youtube um Welcome, man. Welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So you are like blowing up here in this spot right now. Every every weekend, I take my dog for a walk, and I walk through here, and this is one of the only spots that is just overflowing with people, overflowing with people, and you're on top of your social media. Everybody's loving it. So what's the secret, man? What's going on over here? Man, it's, it's you know it's it's a blessing. It's a blessing. We honestly, when when we got when we originally got the spot, it was scary because we didn't know what kind of boom we were gonna do. And even outside where the, where the tarp is, we were not even set up for it. We had all the tables, all the chairs stacked up. And we're like, well, let's see what, what happens. By the first day that we opened doors, it was, we had a line. And we're like, oh, my God, yes. how's this happening? You know, social media had a lot to do with it. And then outside, we're like, let's clean the tables up. Let's clean the chairs. So we did use the old tables, the old chairs. And ever since that, we've just been booming every day. There's no secret. It's just... You know, we, we, we put a lot of effort, we put a lot of love, a lot of motivation to everything yeah. that we do. Yeah, and it's crazy because you do have a lot of social media uh, people, influencers, they're doing a great <clears throat> job, but you're not paying them. We're they're not just paying coming them. in and doing their thing. Yeah, you know, we've been, again, super blessed that a lot of influencers have been coming on coming in on their own, 
and they come in and they're like, hey, uh, do you mind if I record? We really don't care. You know, it's like yeah, obviously, they all yeah. come in and they're recording. And again, they, they post us and they could do a collab with us. And we just like all the videos that, ever, that are out there have over 10,000 views. Yeah, and they're doing everyone's great. loving it. Yeah. One of the things that you said that really caught my attention was um, sometimes there's a three hour wait. <clears throat> yes. And so what's in, what ends up happening is people are overflowing into the other <clears throat> businesses here in Whittier in the uptown area. Correct. And um, you're getting kudos from other restaurant owners and, so and business owners. A lot of restaurant owners and the other retailers too, same thing. They're super excited at what's going on because as soon as they come in, they, they register themselves on, on, on our waiting list and it's a three hour wait and they'll go walk around the whole block and all uptown and um, they're just looking and buying stuff. You yeah. see them come back with bags and stuff like that. And we've had a couple of retailers and also even restaurants saying, hey, I'm getting your overflow. And then the re uh, the retailers are like, hey, while the people are waiting, they come and shop yeah, in my that's, store. That's so that's kind of cool. That's kind of the, that's the magic. That's what, <clears throat> yeah. what, what Uptown Whittier needs. They're going to miss you on this side of town though because you're moving, right? Qu correct. So um, one of my biggest frustrations with one of my partners, we'll stand outside and we'll see, we'll see a whole line. And it frustrates us to see so many people waiting and we're like, we can't do this because the spot that we currently have is not big enough. So we're like, all right, you know what? Let's walk around. We didn't want to leave uptown, but I mean, if we had to, we had to. So we walked around and we were blessed again that as soon as we walked into the old uh, uptown Mexican cafe, guess what happened? The owner said, hey, you guys are the guys from Madrid. We're like, yeah. He goes, here are the keys. I'm like, you're joking, right? He goes, no, it's yours. I'm like, well, for what? He goes, it's yours. I'm wow. blessing you. So again, we were like excited about it. And we're like, okay, yeah. let's sign a contract. He goes, yeah, let's do it. So yeah, we're moving basically on to uh, 7040 Greenleaf uh, Avenue, right next to the movie theater. So I wanted to um, give a shout out to the Mexican Cafe, right? Of course. We got to we gotta show them some love. We have They to. were here for many, many years. That yeah. buffet was legit it's a it's a surprise that they're they're leaving but they they're, they're basically handing the torch off to you yes. guys and saying go for it right most they definitely give you yeah. the blessing they did and now you know jose jose magallon he basically said hey here you go and i'm like jose you don't have to do this he goes no i'm blessing you it's my time to go ahead and retire i know that they've been a part of um for with you for a long time yeah. and we were like man and again pops to you jose yeah jose, you're out there it's watching, for you man. thank yeah, you so much definitely. yeah well, so, well, congratulations, bro. Um, Thank you. you. You're going to have a new concept here. You don't yes. want to talk too much about it, but a new concept is going to continue Correct. to run here, and then you're going to move over there. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to move. We're planning on moving April 3rd, 4th, shutting down that night, and opening the next day the new spot. So we're not really going to close no days. And then our new concept, we, we are planning to go ahead and start it up maybe two months from now. Because, again, everyone knows that it's very hard to find to find good employees yes, right now. Yes, it really is. If yeah. you're looking, man, come down and check it out. You want to work at a great spot, at a, a spot that's continuing to grow <clears throat> and develop. You're moving to Bell yeah, so also, we're gonna, expanding. So we're going to so open our second location in the city of Bellflower. Um, again, just blessings. We Same thing that almost what happened here happened also in that restaurant. The guy says, hey, he came to eat here. He goes, hey, I got a restaurant. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, Hey, are you looking to move? I'm like, well, I'm planning to move towards, uh, you know, Long Beach area. He goes, I have something in Bellflower. I go, let me take a look at it. And you know, we it's a it's it just fits what we have. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. We'll open on. I want to say um, we're shooting for May first. Okay. Well, continue to do what you do, man. We appreciate loving it. Thank you. it. And uh, I love to see the growth. I love to see the kind of trickle effect that you're having, you know, and, and helping out other businesses. Awesome. And thank you, Bobby. It's just a positive energy that you have and you bring to the table. So thank you, man. No, Bobby, Keep thank you up, so man. much. Keep and then up. also, like I told you yesterday for your YouTube channels, hey, we got to give them a gift certificate. So you tell me what they got to do. And hey, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll give them a $50 gift certificate tomorrow. We're going to that well. up for our, our subscribers here on yeah, YouTube and our podcast. Hey, okay. don't forget, subscribe and also do the notification. You want to be part of this channel? Yeah, man. Thank you so much. I right. see you. Thank you, bro. Thank you, guys. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Appreciate it, guys. Well, a huge thank you to Mel and Madres Brunch for taking the time to talk to me today. I really, really appreciate that. I wanted to circle back, though, and head over back towards the new location for Madres Brunch and fill you in on another restaurant that looks to be opening up really soon. And uh, I do have some details on it, but I, I don't want to go there yet. We're going to wait on that. But this is the old La Pescarora location, and that will be coming soon. So stay tuned for news. Well, there you have it, guys. Chris and Pitt's Barbecue closing its doors Friday, March 31st, 2023. 
and uh, wow, that's a heavy one. Uh, that's a huge part of my childhood. I mean, Chris and Pitts walking in there, the nostalgia, the memories, the great barbecue. And um, I remember playing high school basketball and my parents would get Chris and Pitts barbecue for the family afterwards. My aunt and uncle would come over and we'd have a feast of Chris and Pitts barbecue. And that's just like one memory out of a million that I have and that you have. So uh, to the Polonis family, thank you for all of the years of service here in Whittier, California. I mean, you are and were a pillar on the Washington Boulevard street, man. That's like if Mount Rushmore, if we had a Mount Rushmore for Washington Boulevard, they would be on there 100%. So thank you for all that you've done. You're going to be missed. And I will see you again in Downey for sure. But uh, thank you. You're going to be missed here in Whittier. And I also want to thank Mel over at Madre's Brunch for taking a few minutes to talk with us today and also on the podcast. And, um, man, that guy is a busy dude. He knows what he's doing. And he filled us in on the move. He's moving over to the other side of the street. So that's really cool news. And he gave us a $50 gift card. So we got to come up with a contest for that. And uh, maybe you could bring me along with you. I'll pay my own way, but that might be kind of cool. That might be a fun video to do. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we got news on the new promenade. You know, the promenade's going to be happening in Uptown Whittier. They're going to be doing some heavy renovations. And if you haven't checked out my podcast, please go to the podcast and uh, listen to the last episode. I give you some good information on what's happening there. Don't want to get into it right now on here. That's a video for another day, but um, exciting news happening in Uptown Whittier. So uh, thank you. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure and subscribe to the channel. We are marching our way to 10,000 subscribers. It's off into the distance, but um, we are definitely definitely trying to reach that 10,000 subscriber goal. So make sure and like and subscribe. I will catch you guys next time, next week, right here on My Whittier TV. See you guys. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have some time, watch another video. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks.